Hello everyone, this is Obsessive, and this video is intended to give a brief crash course on the history of and the technology behind the Zim project and how it relates to the upcoming release of Zim 3. Xbox Input Machine, or Zim for short, started as a project of mine a few years ago. I had a single simple goal, that is, to play Halo on my Xbox 360 with a Wiimote. There weren't many solutions to leverage and build upon, so I had to piece together various hardware, including a PC, and write a lot of software and firmware to make it all talk and work together. But, in the end, I accomplished what I set out to do. To my surprise, it got quite a bit of attention, especially from those who wanted a better mouse and keyboard adapter for the 360. So, I extended Zim 1 to support mouse and keyboard peripherals, after which a great community of Zim gamers began to form and grow. When I was considering hardware designs for the second version of my device, Zim 2, I set some priorities for what I wanted out of Zim going forward, those being gaming quality, flexibility of gaming hardware you could use, and overall simplicity. To me, if Zim wasn't able to produce a level of gaming quality that was as close to PC feel as possible, then it wasn't worth doing. This is why, for Zim 2, I decided to focus more on the software side of things. For Zim 2's hardware solution, I decided to go with a modified controller that can be controlled by a PC. This would avoid any complications with properly interfacing with a 360. Since the PC is where all of Zim 2's proprietary software runs, it is, of course, necessary to have a PC nearby to game. I made this choice to spend more of my time on the software side because of a very apparent complication that I discovered during this whole process. That is, how hard it is to make a high-precision gaming device, like a mouse, work well with a shooter. This is something taken for granted by PC gamers. A mouse is how you aim in a shooter. But, console shooters are designed for controllers. You aim using a very low-precision device, your thumb. So, to make console shooters playable, game makers add various levels of aim assist to the game. This aim assist is why attempting to adapt a mouse to a console shooter is so difficult. What makes Zim so special is how it overcomes this aim assist. The most important part of Zim comes in the form of patented technology that I call translators. The problem is simple. Given some movement of your mouse, you want to see equivalent reticule movement on your screen. In other words, you want to best match what I call the look mechanic of the game, as illustrated here. If that conversion is off at all, the feel of the game will be unresponsive, jerky, or jumpy. Aim Assist, as I mentioned, makes that conversion difficult. Zim handles converting mouse movement to controller stick positions that produce movement on the screen via translators. Zim features two types of translators, Standard and Smart. The Standard Translation System consists of a set of settings, called knobs that the gamer tunes to best match the look mechanic of the game and their particular gaming style. The standard translation system is meant to be general purpose and adaptable to any game. But, just like any general purpose solution, you'll achieve different levels of quality depending on the game and your ability to tune the knobs. Quality and simplicity are two of Zim's priorities, so this is why I introduced the smart translation system. I'm particularly proud of what I've been able to accomplish with smart translators. There is quite a bit of computer science involved with this technology. The idea behind smart translators is that the complex task of deciphering the exact lib mechanic of a game is better suited for a computer than a human. So I devised a system called the Zim Smart Trainer where the computer will literally play a game itself and use computer vision techniques to observe and reason about the look mechanic of a game. The trainer is completely autonomous and will typically run for 24 hours at a time on any particular game. You may be thinking that the trainer simply finds the best combination of standard configuration knobs for a game, but it doesn't. The end translator produced by this process is several orders of magnitude more complex than what standard translators are able to express. So, what does this mean to you? With smart translators, you get the best possible gaming experience with an absolute minimum of configuration required. Zim2 previewed the first smart translator, which was for Halo 3. 
Halo 3 being one of the more difficult games as far as aim assist. Zim 3 will feature smart translators for every major first person shooter title. That brings us to Zim 3. Zim 3 is the device where all three priorities I mentioned are realized. Zim 3 produces, by far, the best possible gaming experience available. It also exceeds Zim 2's quality due to its focus on smart translators and its perfect timing and synchronization with the console. All firmware written for it is fully custom and handcrafted to produce the best possible translation. Like Zim 2, Zim 3 supports a wide array of current and future gaming mice, keyboards, and joysticks. And it does so without a PC. For simplicity, Zim 3 features smart translators and includes a full color LCD screen so that you never have to go back to computer or play memory games to configure your device. Of course, Zim 3 is fully firmware upgradable. Zim 3 isn't simply a mouse and keyboard adapter. I designed it to be a platform to interface you, the gamer, with your Xbox using a wide variety of input devices that suits you best. Zim 3 has the capacity to grow, over time, to even support genres beyond shooters, such as driving, flight, and rhythm games. Thank you for watching this video on the history and technology of Zim. I'd like to personally thank the Zim community for all their support over the lifetime of this project and my phenomenal engineering team that is helping me make Zim 3 a reality. Check out Zim360.com for information about the future release of Zim 3.